What's up guys, I'm Antonio from Central Park and welcome back to the Business Download Clean Energies TV Wrap Up. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. This week we'll be talking about planes, trains, and automobiles. Unlike the movie, we also have a golf cart and a blimp, but maybe that should be for the sequel. All right, it's go time. Let's get started. General Electric is first in the down this week with an updated carbon neutrality goal. Originally, GE planned to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. The new goal announced in GE's annual sustainability report made it sound like it would be a little closer than we think. The industrial giant signaled that they want to make their own operations carbon neutral by 2030. Within the plan, they don't get too specific. However, they've hinted that the many fossil fuel turbines and jet engines in operation worldwide need to be sustainably updated as soon as possible. Speaking of aircrafts, United Airlines is also changing the way they think about their operations. United's Venture Fund and Mesa Air Group Incorporated are investing in Hart Aerospace, a company developing a 19-seat electric aircraft. United and regional carrier Mesa hope to buy and fly these electric planes for their short-haul routes. Landing back on terra firma, we have Siemens Mobility, the railway company, testing hydro technology that could be used in the U.S. freight industry. They'll be testing Liquid Organic Hydrogen Carrier Technology, or LOHC for short. The technology allows an organic compound to absorb and release hydrogen through chemical reactions. This process helps prevent hydrogen from escaping in a gaseous state and enables secure storage facilitating its cheap transportation. LOHC also eliminates the need to store hydrogen under high pressure or at low temperatures. This is a viable option for trains glide in the hot Texas weather or the cold Wisconsin tundra. So we covered planes, trains, and now we're finally back to automobiles. And although I'm a little annoyed that that doesn't rhyme, that's okay because Ram decided to join the electric truck party this past week. The company announced that in 2024, a 500 mile range electric EV Ram 1500 truck will be hitting the streets. The prominent players in the e-truck world are Tesla with its Cybertruck, Ford's brand new F-150 Lightning, and the EV Hummer, this EV Hummer. Ram will be next, joining them in a race for the throne. Most of Ram's fleet will have an EV counterpart by 2025, but they swear to make this the case for every model by 2030. Ram had been questioned a few times as to why they didn't respond to Tesla's Cybertruck, and then again when the Lightning debuted. But maybe they're just late bloomers. We should give them a break. So remember last fall during the height of the pandemic's fatigue, the world was upside down and things people wouldn't expect to blow up, blew up. I mean, if you think about it, Zoom was huge, demand for RVs and e-bikes went through the roof, people were visiting national parks in droves. Another activity that skyrocketed was golfing, increasing the demand for golf carts. Total retail sales for personal transportation vehicles, like golf carts, were more than $1.5 billion in 2020, which is a 12% gain over the previous year. The exciting news is that an increasing number of these vehicles came with lithium ion batteries, just like those found in many EVs today. Club Car, a leading golf cart manufacturer based out of Augusta, Georgia, so that customer sales nearly doubled during the pandemic. And word on the course was that half the customer sales were bought with no intentions to even take to the golf course. Many people bought them to get around town. But if you do think about it, these 30 horsepower vehicles can sometimes hold up to six people, which is just enough for a family trip to the local drive through or to the pool instead of loading up your SUV. Completing the circle of EVs, we're ending right where we started, in the sky. Blimps are trying to make a comeback, marketing a smoother, cleaner, more spacious way to travel. Only it's a little bit slower than the red eye. Traditionally, blimps were used as floating billboards, but are now being looked at as a cleaner way for air transport. Worldwide Aeros Corp and Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin, are engineering airships for possible military use, as well as a unique travel experience. The vehicle's ability to fly for days without refueling and to dock without a runway makes them an untapped logistical tool in many cases. Another aviation company, Ocean Sky Cruises AB, plans to fly 16 guests and seven crew members from Norway to the Arctic and back in a luxury aircraft buoyed by helium sometime between 2024 and 2025. But if it's powered by helium, let's just hope they don't come back sounding like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin! Anyway, that's all we have for you on this week's wrap up. Make sure to comment on your favorite story below. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.